Hi, inventors. I'm Lily, the twirling tech goddess. I'm black, I dance, I'm queer, and I'm an engineer. Welcome to The Twerk Shop, a show that explicitly encourages radical diversity and inclusion by making the process of learning tech more fun, accessible, and relatable to people underrepresented in STEM. Each week, you'll come along with me as I create something fabulous using cutting edge tools and technologies. Then I'll put it through my patented twirl test to make sure that it's stage ready. That's right, we twirl with our tech because you know what they say, the family that slays together increases their socioeconomic status together. On this episode, we're gonna be getting our posture in check by making a vest that alerts you when you're slouching using one of the most nifty tools in tech, the Arduino Uno. I'll show you the Arduino starter kit and its contents, walk you through the Arduino Uno software and show you how to make a garment that uses the Arduino sensors to remind you when you need to correct your posture. But first, a little backstory. It may be difficult to tell on the camera, but I'm actually six feet and six inches tall. However, I wasn't always this tall. Up until seventh grade, I was an average sized human being. And then the summer before eighth grade, I shut up like a beanstalk. So naturally, when I returned to school in the fall, I was an entire foot taller than all of my friends. And I still wanted to look them in the eye during conversations and walk down the hall. So I remember that I started to get a bit of a hump in my back from slouching to meet my friends down there where they were. And it took me years of dance training to correct that. So naturally, when I got an assignment that required me to make a garment which would alert someone when their posture is being compromised while bending down or slouching, I thought, Eureka! This would have been an excellent preventative tool in the past and possibly still in the future as more and more jobs move to desks and computers. Lo and behold, Google had all of the information I would need to make my own version, so let's get started. So what exactly is an Arduino Uno, you may ask? Arduino is an open source hardware and software company project and user community that designs and manufactures single board microcontrollers and microcontroller kits for building digital devices. For this project, I was inspired by this YouTube tutorial. I look over to the left. But in my experience with this tutorial, it was really difficult for me as a first time Arduino user to see where exactly the pins should connect. So I'll clarify that. Step one of hardware and software, you're gonna need your supplies. I bought this Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit. It has everything we'll need for this build and more. It's highly suggested for beginners and is about 37 bucks. I'll link it in the description. Before I started building, I printed out this nifty tray to house my breadboard and Arduino Uno. I'm using this 3D model in a color that matched the scheme of my starter kit. If you want to learn more about 3D printing, check out my video where I show you how to make a 3D printed motorized headpiece. From the starter kit, we'll be using the Uno R3 controller board, the tie points breadboard, the tilt ball switch, one resistor, six breadboard jumper wires, an active buzzer, and a nine volt battery with snap-on connector clip. Now let's assemble the hardware. First, power up your Arduino. Next, connect Arduino's ground to power the breadboard's ground. Connect five volts to where one leg of the ball switch will be powered. Connect the other leg of the ball switch to communicate with digital output number six. Add one leg of resistor in line with the digital output leg of the ball switch. The other resistor leg is inserted four spaces away from its partner. Connect the estranged leg to the breadboard's ground. Place the active buzzer on the breadboard. Connect positive leg of buzzer with the digital output number five. Lastly, connect the other leg directly to the breadboard's ground. software download, and programming. 
For the software portion of the video, we'll just copy and paste the code as it's described in the Instructable. I do a deeper dive into writing code for Arduino Uno in another video where I'll be showing you how to make your own sound responsive LED lights. Download Arduino, link below. When you open it, you see the Arduino IDE that allows you to write your program. Insert this code into your IDE. Put your setup code here to run once. And put your main code here to run repeatedly. Press the upload button in the top left of the screen and wait for the terminal window at the bottom to read done. Your Arduino should now have the code on it and start buzzing if, like this if it's still laying flat on your desk. Now let's test the functionality. I'm such a geek. In order to turn this vest into something that'll alert me when I'm slouching, we're gonna need a few things. Essentials. You're gonna need your parents' favorite vest, some scrap fabric, handy dandy scissors, and your handy dandy glue gun. Keep your Arduino and your setup nearby. So first you're gonna take the vest and sit it aside. Using the fabric, cut out two tray sized pieces and then hot glue them together on three sides to create a pouch that will house the tray. Hot glue the top seam of the pouch to the top seam of the vest. Plug in the nine volt battery mechanism for external power. Insert the tray and battery into the pouch with the electronics facing the back of the pouch. And then begin your journey toward better posture. Let's get started. wearable isn't useful to me unless it's stage ready. So I'm gonna get dressed and I'll see you in the workplace. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, or I'm not gonna turn this off. And 
remember, an optimist laughs to forget. A pessimist forgets to laugh. This program was made possible by Solid State Depot, a local makerspace in Boulder, Colorado.